So just thought I'd do a quick video of the Alamo rental that we got. A um, few people said they wouldn't mind seeing what we've uh, picked up. So this is it, it's a SUV, it's a Mazda CX-5. It's more of a crossover than an SUV. Um, I would say it's probably the size, a little bit bigger than a Nissan Qashqai back home. Uh, very new, very, very modern. It's got about 6,000 miles on the clock. California plates, a bit weird. Uh, very nice to drive, all the toys inside, satellite radio, navigation, um, yeah, very nice, looks pretty. One thing we like about it is it's got automatic tail lift, which is pretty handy, you've got a lot of shopping. <coughs> um, boots, <coughs> excuse me, boot space, uh, there's, we fit three cases in here, full size cases and that was it. There was no space for anything else, you probably fit a couple of rucksacks across the top, but that was about it. In the floor, sometimes they have like compartments to put things, there's nothing here, you've just got the tyre and tools. Um, so one thing, if you do have anything on display, um, people are going to see it. It has got privacy glass, but it's um, you can still see inside. Um, have a look in the back, might help if I unlock it. <clears throat> so this is the back, Aaron's got a little seat there, look car seat. She's also got an armrest, two cup holders, a little compartment, and also one thing that's pretty good in here. You've got two little USB charging points, so if you want to watch anything on the go and charge, that's pretty handy. She's also got rear air vents. It's also got a sunroof as well, which is pretty good. Have a quick look in the drivers. So this is the driver's side. Fully automatic as usual. A uh, nice big screen entertainment system. It's also got satellite radio, um, navigation. Got a nice console control down here to turn all the menu system. One thing also which is pretty good, which I like, is it's got a nice big reversing camera, so you can see what's coming behind you. Um, there's a few blind spots in here, which is a bit annoying. But it is a really good drive. It's got a lot of, um, a lot of good features as well when you're driving. One thing is, which I like, is um, it's got sensors in the front of the bumper, so if you're doing cruise control on a freeway, you can set a limit between you and the car in front, and the car will never actually go further than that limit. And if it does, if the car in front breaks, then our car breaks, which is pretty cool. Pretty nifty. So loving that. And uh, yeah, it's a nice sort of leverette look. And this was uh, from Alamo. We actually got a bump up, which is quite nice. But yeah, like I said, it's, um, just get out, it's probably, yeah, bigger than a Qashqai, like the size of a Volkswagen Tiguan or whatever they call them, but it is really nice, really nice to drive, and we're very happy with it. So there you go, that is the Mazda CX-5 from Alamo.